Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, has seen a meteoric rise in her position and influence within the British royal family. Whispers of this shift have been swirling for months, but the recent actions of another senior royal, Princess Anne, have fueled speculation that this ascendance may be a deliberate move orchestrated behind the scenes. It was just a few short years ago that Catherine was primarily viewed as a dutiful consort, content to support her husband, Prince William, as he prepared to one day assume the throne. However, the landscape of the monarchy has shifted dramatically in the intervening period, and Catherine has emerged as a formidable force in her own right. The catalyst for this transformation can be traced back to the tumultuous events that have rocked the House of Windsor in recent years. The stepping back of Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, from their senior royal duties, coupled with the ongoing health concerns surrounding Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, have created a void that Catherine has stepped into fill. Catherine has seized the moment with both hands, says royal commentator Olivia Marston. She has demonstrated a keen understanding of the public's desires and an unwavering commitment to the values and traditions of the monarchy. In doing so, she has carved out a unique role for herself that goes far beyond the typical expectations of a future queen consort. This newfound prominence has manifested itself in a variety of ways. Catherine has taken on an increasingly active role in shaping the public image of the royal family, leveraging her natural charisma and keen sense of style to appeal to a wide range of audiences. She has also become a vocal advocate for causes close to her heart, such as early childhood development and mental health awareness, using her platform to drive meaningful change. Catherine has a unique ability to connect with people on a personal level, observes royal historian Dr. Eliza Grayson. She has a warmth and approachability that makes her relatable, even as she embodies the grandeur and tradition of the monarchy. This has allowed her to transcend the traditional boundaries of her role and become a truly influential figure in her own right. But it is the recent actions of another senior royal, Princess Anne, that have sparked the most intense speculation about Catherine's rise. The Princess Royal, long considered a reserved and dutiful member of the royal family, has been making waves with a series of high-profile interventions and public statements. In a surprise move, Princess Anne recently delivered a speech at a prestigious event, in which she openly criticized the direction of the monarchy and called for a more streamlined and modernized approach to royal duties. This frank assessment, delivered with the princess's trademark bluntness, was seen by many as a direct challenge to the status quo. Princess Anne has always been known for her no-nonsense attitude and her unwavering commitment to the institution of the monarchy, says royal biographer Katrina Weston. Her willingness to publicly question the current state of affairs is highly unusual and has led many to wonder if there is a larger power struggle unfolding behind the scenes. Intriguingly, the timing of Princess Anne's intervention coincides with a marked increase in Catherine's public profile and influence. The Duchess has been seen taking on more high-profile engagements, delivering speeches, and even weighing in on policy discussions, all hallmarks of a royal family member wielding significant clout. It's possible that Catherine's rise is part of a deliberate strategy orchestrated by Princess and an other senior royals, speculates royal commentator Liam Fitzgerald. Anne may see Catherine as the ideal figure to help modernize and reinvigorate the monarchy, capitalizing on her public appeal and her ability to connect with a younger generation of Britons. This theory is further bolstered by the close relationship that has developed between Catherine and Princess Anne in recent years. The two women have been seen engaging in more frequent public appearances together, and there are whispers of a growing personal bond between them. Princess Anne is well known for her keen eye for talent and her ability to spot potential in others, says historian Grayson.
If she sees in Catherine the qualities and attributes that she believes the monarchy needs, it's entirely plausible that she would work behind the scenes to elevate the Duchess and position her for greater responsibility and influence. Of course, such speculation remains just that speculation. The inner workings of the royal family are notoriously opaque, and the true nature of the relationships and power dynamics at play are known only to a select few. But the undeniable rise of Catherine, coupled with the unexpected actions of Princess Anne, have sent shockwaves through the institution of the monarchy. What is clear is that Catherine has emerged as a force to be reckoned with, a woman who has not only proven her worth as a future queen consort, but has also carved out a unique and influential role for herself within the royal family. And with the continued support and guidance of a seasoned royal like Princess Anne, the sky may be the limit for the Duchess of Cambridge. As the monarchy continues to navigate uncharted waters, the watchful eyes of the public and the media will be firmly fixed on Catherine and her ever-expanding influence. Will she continue to ascend the ranks of the House of Windsor, or will the forces of tradition and the old guard push back against her rise? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain the Catherine story is far from over. Thanks for watching till the end, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.